Jaybird here. Today I'll be unboxing Warp's Edge. It is part of the Solo Hero series by Renegade Game Studios. It is for ages 10 and up that pl should play in about 30 to 45 minutes. Let's get into it and see what's in the box. Just loosen up the open on its own. Looks like there's quite a bit of story based text in the rule book. Which is really nice in a solo game because it kind of draws you in more. It says the storybook provides a way for you to customize the game setup based on choices you make throughout the narrative. Before you read further, make sure that you have the game components from nearby so they can so you can interact with them when directed to. And good luck. Oh, so that was just the narrative. Here's the actual rule book. A oh, good call out of all the different components diagram of the cards in your dashboard oh it even tells you how to store everything oh that's really nice that'll be nice to use when I put it all back and now the setup so I like how it goes over the different cards and what they are before you get to set up so you have a chance to understand it before you actually start playing set up very clear cut numbered and numbered Victory versus defeat, gameplay sequence. Looks like it walks you through the different types of things that happen. End of game. Of course, credits. Or a nice little glossary of both specific words and symbols used. Explains the different motherships. Or a nice full page piece of art right there. And power token explanation on the back. Advertisement for some of their other games. Now we get to the punch board. That looks like a mothership I talked about. A oh, nice clear, clean snap. These feel a little bit tight, but. They do seem to be coming out without issue. Oh, I got one rolling away from me. So, more punch boards, more motherships. I'll punch all these in a minute. few punch boards. Nice. Now oh, look at this. Nice, clear, obvious organization system set up in here with lids, clearly labeled spaces. Same thing for this side. Fit evenly in the box. Nice. Nice cloth bag. Really nice and boardy. Or the game and Renegade logo. Oh, we got some Ziplocs. Always good to have Ziplocs around. Some smaller pieces. Probably trackers of some sort within the game. And a thing of cards. It looks like even the bottom of the box is organized. I wonder if you if it recommends to pull that out while you play or okay this packet does not have a quick oh no there it is well it was always hard for me to see right there nice quick tear on that op card opening trash on the floor We got a couple different style decks. Looks 
Quick clear iconography of some nice background images of ships. Pretty straightforward, easy to read. Looks like it's color coded and symbols. That's the first deck. Uh, now we got some other ships. This art is really vibrant. Yeah, so that's what's in the game. I'll probably cut back to it fully organized in a second. Show you how it all fit into the box together now. I'll put these right on top. They just fit in the box loose. Both the booklets. They fit between these two tabs on these, which actually stick all the way up, so it keeps it from moving up and down. These aren't the easiest to come out, but if you take this one out first, it won't take that lid off of it. That one comes out too. See all the tokens inside of it. It tells you exactly which one's going which. The bag. And underneath, I, I didn't even need to use any of the Ziplocs it provided. Two slots for car, the two different decks. These are explicitly stated on the organizer, the letters for the punched circles. In each game that you play, it'll tell you, you decide which ones you're playing with, basically, based on the rules. And you pull out certain ones. And then they go in to that second organizer. And then, of course, we got your starting tokens, these explosion looking ones, and your small chits. So, yeah, that's how it all goes into the box. Too, but close this cleanly. I, can, I could hear that little vacuum as I close the box. I can hear that things aren't moving around too much either. So thank you for watching, and as always, play games and spread joy.